Hi, it's Dr. Lori. I'm back with da -da, Real Bargains. I love Real Bargains. I know you do too. Real Bargains. These are the bargains that people like you are finding at thrift stores, antique malls, yard sales, all over. Keep treasure hunting. It's out there. I've got permission to retell all of these stories, and it's all about jewelry, Real Bargains, today. It's, I've got gold and diamonds, rhinestones, bakelite, silver. All right, here we go. This first real bargain comes from an online appraisal submission report where somebody said, Dr. Lori, I'm going to send you a photo. I want an online appraisal report. So I did an online appraisal for this person who purchased these earrings at an online auction. She purchases the earrings. They're really beautiful. And um, here's what they are. She said she was looking online to find some earrings um, for her son who was getting married for the one of the dinners. You don't have all these parties before the weddings. Me, I like the wedding. I don't like all the stuff before. I just like to go to the wedding. Yay, you're happy and you're in love. Good, congratulations, move on. But anyway, um, so she was looking for, for the rehearsal dinner. So she was looking online and she was trying to find something that would go with the dress, right? Because, you know, mother of the groom, you got to find the dress. Anyway, she was looking for the jewelry. She finds these earrings and they're part of a lot. They're part of a lot of costume jewelry pieces. And there are 45 pieces of costume jewelry and they're online. And you know how this goes. There's all kinds of stuff online that you can find. I've pointed them out here many, many times for $16 on the online auction. So she buys the lot for $16, and here's what she gets in just these earrings alone. The mark is a mark for George Laterman, the very famous New York City jewelry designer, designer to the stars. 18 karat gold earrings with diamonds. That's right, they were tested, and they're the real thing. She has about two to three total carat weight of diamonds and 18 karat gold beautifully designed floral earrings and they're big they're wonderful they have significant gram weight and they are 18 karat gold they have the george lederman mark now again a lot of these marks are difficult to find which is why i have marks for you on my website and i show you the marks in these videos so i hope you're binge watching this was a great find you got to just hold on to your hats with this one. $16 for 45 pieces. All the other pieces, some are costume jewelry, some are real jewelry. But this one pair of earrings, just for $16 bucks for the 45 pieces that she got, what is this one pair worth? George Lederman, New York, 18 karat gold with diamonds. $15,000 for the pair. My gosh, people are giving away the farm and I'm showing you what you need to find. Wow, a beautiful and exciting real bargain. Here's the kicker. She didn't wear any of the jewelry to the rehearsal dinner. <laughs> I thought that was great. That's a real bargain. This next real bargain comes from a video call and I loved this whole thing. I had so much fun talking to this video caller as I do to all my video callers and all of you. Um, so this video caller said, Dr. Lori, uh, I found your channel. I like your channel. I'm enjoying watching. I'm learning a lot. I did a little experiment and I went to an estate sale. My experiment was for two weeks. I watched as much Dr. Lori videos, as many as I could. And then shortly after the two weeks were over, I went to my first estate sale to see how much information I retained. So this is student teacher stuff. I love this. This is where I start to get be like a teacher nerd because as a teacher nerd, I love to hear when people are succeeding and they're getting the information. So my video caller says, so I watched and then I went to the estate sale and I bought this. I bought this ring and I bought this ring for $17. And I thought to myself, it's kind of a little bit much for me. I'm not really too sure, but I'm looking at it and I see that it says 14 karat gold and it looks like these pieces are diamonds. I have the diamond tester and I can actually test it and I'm going to see what's what. There are 19 diamonds in this ring. He tested all of the diamonds using the diamond tester once he got home. He recognized the mark, the 14 karat gold mark. He paid $17 for the ring at the estate sale. He negotiated down a little bit because he bought more than one item at the estate sale. Value on his ring. You ready to see how good a student he actually is in watching Dr. Lori's videos? That ring is worth $6,000. It's a real bargain, and I'm really proud of you. So that last real bargain, well, it has a follow-up because at that same estate sale, the same person who was doing that Dr. Lori experiment actually got two other rings. And this is an interesting story. So he's at that estate sale. He's 
seeing how well he can do based on the knowledge that, of course, he gained from watching the videos with me. And he, for $7, he buys this ring, which is a floral abundance ring. It's sterling silver and it's marked and it's got these colorless stones. So there was an unconfirmed test on the colorless stones. So, okay, he wasn't sure if they were diamonds or not. This particular ring as crystals, if stones are crystals, $400 for his $7 investment. This other ring that he buys at the same estate sale on the same day where he gets the trifecta of real bargains, right, in one shot, for $7 he also buys this ring in the Art Deco style, also marked sterling silver with the 925 mark on it. Again, these crystals, right, colorless stones to make it look like diamonds. And of course, this ring's worth $300, also a real bargain. But if this ring had diamonds in it, 116 diamonds is what would have to fill in all of the setting value on this ring. It could be upwards of $1,500 if those are tested as diamonds. But again, these two costume jewelry rings and the one beautiful American um, uh, gold marked gold ring with the diamonds. Ugh, the first one beautiful at $6,000. These are real bargains too. And he was watching the videos and learning from the content. I like to hear that. This next real bargains comes from a video call. And a lot of you video callers are return video callers. And I love to see you. So this one came from a video caller of some folks who again will call me regularly when they get, of course, a lot of pieces and then they're ready to do a video call. So this one came from a thrift store and it's a thrift store purchase. I really like this necklace, even though I'm not big on the big oversized necklace. And here's why I'm not big on the big oversized necklaces. I think they're beautiful and they can be very valuable. It's just a taste thing. Cause like I, I have my, like my big eighties hair and my big -ness of my body and a big necklace. It's kind of too big for me, but I think it looks beautiful on a lot of folks. This particular necklace has a lot of value too. It's a butterscotch Bakelite continuous bead necklace. The beads are graduated and they're big. They're significant. It's 22 inches long. It's continuous. What does that mean? Doesn't have a clasp. So the beads go round and round and round and it graduates from smaller beads in the back to large beads in the front. 22 inches long, a beautiful example. Got them in a jewelry lot of many pieces, right? She paid $30 for the whole lot, which means she paid a couple of dollars for this individual necklace. Value on it, it's a real bargain, folks. I also like the butterscotch color because it goes with a lot of different skin tones and a lot of different clothing colors. Value on it, $650. Bakelite is very, very desirable. The larger the beads, the more valuable when it comes to Bakelite. And of course, it doesn't have any inclusions, nicks, scratches, or any other kind of damage. It's really a beautiful example, and it's a real bargain too. This next real bargain comes from a video call and an estate sale. So my video caller went to an estate sale and she bought this pin. She said she bought the pin because she recognized the jewelry maker's names from the videos here on the channel. I'm telling you, I'm telling you what to find, right? All different, on all the different videos I do on the channel, I always tell you what to look for, what to find. I tell you it in lists, I show you the makers. And she said, nothing was priced at this estate sale. And I think that's great. When I hear nothing's priced, that means I can negotiate and everybody's ready to negotiate. I think that's wonderful. And do your best negotiating then, you know, say, hey, will you take this? I'm going to buy in bulk all the tips that I've given you about negotiating and more. So she sees this piece and she says, Dr. Lori, I saw the name Eisenberg on the back of this rhinestone and silver toned metal pin and I knew that I should buy it. Whatever it was, I knew I should buy it because of you. I really like this kind of pin. Here's what I like about it. I like the rhinestones. I like open work. I like the derivation or the different shapes. I like the way in which it looks like it's almost going to show you a little bit of a window onto your textile, whatever blouse you're wearing. I like the fact that the pin is really strong and I like most of all, I like the maker's mark on the back. Eisenberg, very strong maker's mark. It's indicative of the 1950s to the 1970s when they're using this particular type of logo mark for Eisenberg costume jewelry. 
and I've taught you about that. And I said, how much did you pay? And she said, I paid $3, Dr. Lori. And if I'm proud of her, I'm proud of her because this particular piece is worth $200. It's a real bargain and a sharp looking piece of rhinestone costume jewelry. This next real bargain comes from a video call. And this video caller buys all different types of stuff. So she said, I went to the thrift store. I sometimes buy painting, sometimes I buy china, sometimes I buy jewelry. And this piece I wanted to show to you, Dr. Lori. So I said, well, it's a beautiful piece and it's obviously modern. It's obviously a modernist piece. I said, and it seems Scandinavian. She said, well, the mark on the back has a signature of an artist named Roland Landerholm who is a Swedish modernist. So when I saw the mark, I said, yeah, I said, Roland Landerholm, very, rel relatively well-known, very well-known in Sweden and Scandinavia, Northern Europe, but uh, relatively well-known in the modernist time period. So the middle part of the 20th century. So she said, I really liked it. I'll tell you what I liked about it. I liked that it was very modern looking and I liked the iconography. That's the symbols. I liked the elements that show you something and tell you a story. You look at this and automatically most of us would recognize it as Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. There's the serpent, there's the tree with the apple, and everything is sort of streamlined and geometric and very modern. And then there's Adam and Eve. And if you read it from left to right, it's Eve. You can see that she has more of a bulbous body. She's more hippie and she's actually more larger hips than Adam. And you can see she's not wearing pants. It's like she's wearing a dress all the way down to her feet. And then you see Adam standing next to her and he has obvious geometric um, shape on his body. And you can see they delineated where he would be wearing pants, let's say. You can see the apple in the tree, which I think is the best part of the whole pin and the whole design of the pin. Uh, you can see it's just sort of like a tree trunk and then a little branch and there's the apple. So straight line and then a nice round circle for the apple and then the serpent all the way at the other end. It's a beautiful modernist design in jewelry. It's stamped, of course, and marked for sterling silver. It's made by a famous Swedish Scandinavian modern jewelry designer. And my thrift store purchaser, my treasure hunter video caller said, I bought it and I only paid $15 for it. I thought it was beautiful and I thought it's sterling silver I can't lose and that's true. It's a real bargain. What's it worth? It's a real bargain at $250. I loved it. I thought it was beautiful. That's what I want you to look for. Look for the quality. Learn what to look for and don't stop thrift store shopping. I'm Dr. Lori. I hope you find your real bargain real soon.